Hello everyone and welcome to another video. What are we discussing today? We're going to discuss something very important to us and something that we love. That is our ego. The play of the ego. That is our topic for today's discussion. See, we come from an ocean of love. So when we are not on physically in this earth, we are part of a bigger consciousness. And each of us coexists in loving energy with every other soul. So when there's so much love and there's a sense of oneness, we can never really learn anything from it, right? Think about it. The ones who teach you a lesson in life are the ones who give you a tough time, not the ones who love you and provide everything for you. You're grateful to them, but you never learn to grow because of them. So in the same fashion, when we are up there in the heavens, we are in a enclosed in loving relationships with each other and uh, we there's a lot of love so what we do is we incarnate on this earth and the soul decides on a soul plan we decide how what we did not learn in our last lifetime we need to learn in the current one so say i never had compassion for somebody I need to learn how to do that in this lifetime. So I will set up a play or a movie kind of a thing where I will draw in other characters from my soul group who will show me how to grow compassion in this current lifetime. So how will they show me? Without giving me a hard time, I will not learn that. So these characters will take upon themselves to be mean to me whether in a, they're my parents or my siblings or my in-laws or my friends or my co-workers, they're going to show me how difficult it will become for me and then I will grow compassion for them. And the role play is all decided and the whole uh, scenes are all decided beforehand kind of. And uh, we do have a choice here, but we pretty much follow the guidelines. So, we have to incarnate here to build a self-image with our ego. Okay? I am so-and-so. My name is Seema. I have studied so much. I have gone to college here. I work here, this is how much I make, these are my children, this is my spouse, this is the home I live in, This is these are the values I stand by, these are the organiz organizations that I support, these are my belief system, this is the religion I follow, things like that. We build what is called our ego, right? And then with this, in, because that is forcing us to create our individuality. Now, this makes me different from my brother, my sister, my husband, my children. Everybody has their own individual personality. So I continue to nurture myself and to be myself while everybody else is being themselves. Right? And in the process, there could be conflict. There could be love, there could be union, there could be all kinds of struggles. You, that's how your life plays. But if I stand by my ego all my life and just try to live making this self happy, causing trouble for others and never looking outside, for anything but only making sure I am taken care of at all time I'm looking for control I'm passing judgments I am not really a materialistic all my life I walk like that causing trouble for everybody no matter what my life so I forget what my soul plan was but I just continue to fulfill my selfish motives 
the ego now has become so big that I am not willing to learn any lesson at this point. The play between other souls is not really happening. Because I have forgotten who I was, where I came from, what my purpose was, why I had come, I had taken birth in the first place. So the, I talk about myself, I live for myself, I breathe and eat myself. Me, 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 me. The ego has now grown out of control where nobody, no one for that matter, can come in my way. I am supreme, I am God I feel and I can see we are divine but when I say I'm God I mean I take nobody's word over mine. It's going to be my way or the super highway period. So if that's your problem then the ego, the play of the ego has taken over you. You're going to be unhappy because to remain on the top of a pyramid, you will have to hurt a lot of people and they are not going to like you for that. And by the end of your life, you have really not learned to find compassion for anybody. And it's now time to leave back to that love energy where you really never learned anything and now you're unhappy and then you're coming back again for another lifetime and another lifetime and another lifetime. So if that's fine with you, that's fine. Keep coming back, keep going through your diapies and you know, keep doing your thing, learning your alphabets all over again, learning to walk and you know, do your thing all over again. If that's your ultimate uh, motive, that's fine. But if you really wish to have, to make value out of this life, then it's good to build your ego in your 20s and 30s. Good to build your ego. But once you've achieved a certain level of, even in your 40s, once you've reached a certain level of achievement and you've done good for yourself, where you feel you've know, worked hard and you've achieved a lot of good motives, it's always nice to be nice to other people. It will never hurt. Let see yourself in other people. You know, if you see somebody struggling, have that compassion for them. If you don't, you know, don't go out of the way to hurt people. You can stand up for your rights, but causing harm unnecessarily, manipulating, cheating on people, those are not good values to have. So find the compassion, find the love for others, see yourself in them. And if you feel genuinely that, you know, if this would have been hard for me, you know, if somebody doesn't have food or water or is struggling with certain things and you feel if you were in their place, it would, you know, be really difficult and you can find it in your heart to, to take care of them or to, to be of some sort of, even small help is good, you know, you cannot fix people's life, but just showing a, even feeling that compassion, some people don't have that. There's a small gesture. If you do one small gesture, 10 other people do small gesture. This person who's facing trouble, their life can change. So never, never undermine the, the value of uh, your goodness. So, so see, slowly when you kind of find, um, again, the, the other, you see yourself in other people, you feel compassion for them. There is, uh, you know, with self-love, you found love for other people, then um, the ego, the play of the ego comes down. And you've been born here to find love for all, universal love through in, your, in your current lifetime. So if you can somehow find that, then your ego was worth making, you know, in the, worth in the making. Otherwise, it's all, um, you know, a waste of lifetime. So, I hope this makes sense and this was helpful. It's a very deep topic and you need to think about it. Thanks for watching.